Okay, so we're back here with the owner of this tank, uh, Yang Fei. So he's gonna talk to us about his history of reefing and how he ended up with this uh, fancy tank over here. La. Hi everyone, yeah. uh, I started this hobby like five years ago. Okay. Uh, but like any any amateur, I started with a very simple tank, thinking okay. that I can upgrade after that. Okay. That it will be easy to upgrade. Okay. But to my horror, it's not the case. So. So how big was your your tank? My before tank this? was only about eighty liters, if 80 I'm not liters. wrong. So yeah. So how how is the measurement like? It was like one and a half feet. Thereabouts. Okay. So. Uh, as a lot of people will know, you know, you yeah. start out with a basic tank. Okay. As the tank is running, it's very yeah. hard to upgrade all the uh, equipments inside. Mm. It wasn't built for a marine tank, right? I assume I, it was just a tank. Yeah, right? it is not. Okay. And I was doing it just to see whether it is uh, whether my interest will actually carry on. Okay. Unfortunately, it did. Okay. So okay. when it was time to upgrade all the equipments, it was quite a horror okay, And okay. you know that my tank is small, so okay. like um, a lot of parameters were actually like. Uh, fluctuate very uh, okay. very uh, frequently okay. and everything is very sensitive okay. so I would I would I wanted to actually keep SPS mm, ultimately okay. so what was so, in the thing then when you started I started it? with uh, LPS okay, and, softies, and maybe uh, softies kind of and the okay. simpler ones and was okay. like hey it's very nice and then mm. I look at other people's tank wow they have all co all kinds of SPS yeah. and they look like fantastic. I mean everyone wants to keep a mix yes. because you have everything there <laughs> uh, but the mix with is the most challenging because yeah it's not a species tank so it's you have to cater for everyone. Yes, uh. that's they, right. Especially if you want fish and you want your angels and you want everything that eats the corals or so then yeah. yeah so that's, that's I mean a challenge. Uh. I think everyone, a lot of hobbies also find themselves buying more and more like livestock. Mm. You know, so obviously a very small tank will not yeah. be able to support without like good equipment. Mm. So I experienced all kinds of crashes. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so after five, six years and I got my own place, so I decided to, hey, you know, I want to do this right. Yeah. You know, I want to do, I want to do, a, do over. Yeah, so, so I mean, it's the best time to get a proper yes. tank done because the house is not really renovated yet. Yeah. So you can decide where you want to put it, uh, yes. the size, and, and you can build everything to what you want. Uh. Yes, um, that's right. So, but uh, unfortunately, my place is rather compact. So there is also that few number of places, that possible places I can mm. place my tank. So it's also because of feng shui reasons, you know, <laughs> it's a poor Thai space. So okay. the feng shui master did say that okay. it is actually ideal to put like a fish tank there to actually like cure this poor Thai bad style. Yeah. So one more uh, big question everyone wants to know. Um, what's your budget? And oh. how much do you spend on this tank? <laughs> and did you exceed the budget? I think I actually expected that it's not going to be cheap. Okay. Yeah, because I really told her that, okay. you know, I really want like, the high end stuff because mm. I didn't want to like replace. Mm. Yeah, because I it was horrible like, my previous experience. So she did give me like two different quotes one with uh, the intermediate, okay. and basic to intermediate like, okay. price range and the more like advanced price okay. range. Obviously, I went for the better ones as you can yeah. see. I mean, after. Yeah being in this hobby for quite a while, yeah. I guess you want to upgrade, so I think naturally the, tank, the upgrade is yeah. fancy stuff. I think the tank costs about the whole setup, including all the workmanship and all thrown in about 8 to 9. Okay, I yeah, think. that is uh, pretty reasonable for a yeah. full setup and what you're getting getting here. Like, yes. I mean, no expense is spared. He has all the necessary good mm. things that should last him a long time. I think one more important yeah. point is that I want pretty much everything automated. Yeah. Because uh, I probably will not be having the time to actually um, maintain it myself. Okay. So with technology, I think that helps a lot and it makes things very simple for people that are new to this hobby actually. So there are a lot of cool gadgets that can help you upkeep your tank. Mm, okay. Yeah, that I have like... Um, included inside my whole setup. Okay, so we'll look at the sum now, then he can explain to us what he chose and why he chose them. Alright, so now we are at the sum, so let's give you an overview of how it works. So basically from the top, there's an overflow pipe, it just comes down, goes to the back here, then it just goes onto a filter wool. Filter wool, then there's a lot of bacteria media underneath, then it flows under to the skimmer. So after the skimmer, it goes over again, goes under, then goes to the main return chamber. So in the main return chamber, he has a LG reactor. 
and um, there are a few pumps inside so there's one pump for the LG reactor there's another pump for the UV reactor which returns back into the last chamber and then there's another pump for the chiller, chiller which is outside in the corner over here so the chiller has to be outside because there's no space in there and we need some ventilation for it so it's outside um, so for the hardware he has chosen everything which is really good so very high end the pumps are just the CJ pumps so there are four of them the skimmers are Deltec and um, there's an auto top off section over here which is uh, the Tunzi auto top off which is I feel the easiest and most reliable so far and also he has the Alcatronic system and the forehead dosing pump system over there okay and the chiller is a uh, how big is this uh? 1 5th horsepower Afrika so that's sufficient for this okay so maybe you can explain to us why you chose certain equipments everything is top of the line for the size yeah so I think mainly, what do you want? I think mainly I wanted this whole thing to be pretty automated and self-maintaining okay yeah especially for the testing of and dosing of the um, um, different like uh, you know the KH and the calcium magnesium mm -hmm. so that's why I have the Alcatronic basically I will skip away with doing all the <laughs> uh, frequent <laughs> KH testing yeah. and it will actually um, help me replenish the KH yeah. if, it, they, they think, if it thinks that it is too low yeah. so that um, actually you will keep your tank KH very stable which is very important yeah. supplementary supplement all the um, different um, calcium, magnesium, and other minerals is like a chore to a lot of um, reefers. Yeah. So we have a dosing pump. So you yeah. have chosen this uh, dosing pump from Reef Factory, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so mm. it's four heads, so you can dose mm. uh, four different things. It's also mm. controlled by an app, so it's quite convenient. Mm. You can just set it and just change it on your phone if you feel like you need more calcium, change the magnesium. Uh, you can even do trace elements and all of that. Lah. So you're fully ready for SPS. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, I have also invested in this um, reactor, algae reactor, because uh, I think that we can control the nitrate, which is also very important. Yeah. Yeah. So especially if you're keeping a lot of like livestock, yeah. nitrate is very um, bad. So this one will actually come handy in controlling the nitrate level. So as you can see, we have also like customized like shelves to place all the the dosing yeah. pump and the alcatronic. And I think the rack is good because it actually can fix the UV, especially with such a compact um, compartment, the chiller cannot be inside. So unfortunately it has to be placed outside. Yeah. But I think that will actually uh, ensure that the lifespan of your chiller will be kept to the max. So this tank has been running for like um, a week, so pretty okay with the noise level, mm -hmm. pretty okay, yeah. Yeah, so anything that you are gonna add? Probably I can just um, place some of the extra matrices here, or maybe carbon. Yeah, so as you can see, um, briefing can be fast free too. <laughs> okay. If you spend the money. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is the main tank. Um, yeah, you wanna explain what rocks you chose, what sand you chose, and why the scape is like this? The rocks, I think, are the Caribbean the rocks. Caribbean sea rocks? Carib yeah, sorry, yeah. Caribbean so sea it's, rocks. So it's the dry artificial rocks? Yes, that's, okay. that's right, it's dry. But the sand is uh, live sand. Okay. Yeah, so the scaping is actually to, done this way so that I can have different uh, corals. So I, I have a, a lot of um, space on the top also to um, imprep for the coral's growth. Yeah, so you have to make sure that there's adequate space to not um, block the light from coming down. So for the lights, you have chosen the Orfec, um the new one, the Icon. Yes. I was using a Hydra previously. Ah, okay, okay. So it was good, but uh, I rather on this and I've seen reefers and my friends using it also. So I think the spread is quite okay for my setup, hence the choice. So um, I also feel that I don't want I, I don't want the light to be concentrated on you know just one spot. So my my heat space is quite limited. So I think this is a good choice. Yeah. yeah. In terms of lighting, uh, Yeah. 
All right, so one more nice thing about this tank where he has done the, the cupboard and everything is that the water level you can see is actually covered by the cupboard. So it looks quite nice. You can't see the dirt or anything and you wouldn't see uh, the, 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 the water level. So it's, it looks very built-in. Sleek. Sleek, yes. yeah. So try to get this done if you have a built-in tank. Make sure you cover the water level because that's that's one thing people always miss out. Yeah. But it's the small details that matter for this kind of nice builds. Next time we'll be back for the livestock is gonna put in. So any hints of what you're gonna stock? Ah, uh, I think I'm gonna have uh, various different kind of uh, corals. Okay. SPS. Okay. Definitely. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so we'll be back next time. So like, subscribe, and watch the next video.